This week on Focus Outdoors, we're going to visit central Minnesota and Mille Lacs Lake. A true legend of lakes when it comes to walleyes and huge smallmouth bass. We are going on a launch at a Liberty Beach bar and restaurant right on the shores of Mille Lacs Lake. Liberty Beach is getting new owners with great plans for the old place. Let's check in and see what is happening at Liberty Beach. Hi, we're up at Liberty Beach. We're going to go out and do a little launch fishing today. But we're also at Liberty Beach, the new owners of Liberty Beach. They're remodeling. Uh, they're putting their bar and restaurant all together. And here are the new owners. I'll let them introduce themselves and let you know what's going to go out in the bar, what they're going to have for amenities, and what they're going to have for food and alcohol and the whole works. I'm Tyler Rubin, my wife Kristen. We're uh, hopefully going to open here in about two weeks. Um, maybe one week. You know, we're gonna have a full line of food, uh, we're gonna have a bar, uh, full line of liquor off sale. Um, eventually we're gonna have, we're gonna put some cabins in around here, probably about four of them, hopefully by this winter yet. And we're gonna have some camping here, not gonna have a lot, probably 15, 20 spots, seasonal. Um, doing a lot of renovations, it's been a lot more work than we thought, but it's gonna look good when we're done. And we're gonna um, really wanna focus on <coughs> making it an adult friendly, kid friendly place. So, you know, we want adults to come in here and have a good time at the bar, but we also want families coming here and eat in our dining room and <clears throat> not have to listen to the, the bar talk. So we're going to kind of segregate that a little bit. We want kids to come. So we put in a big beach. We're going to have uh, blow-up toys out here. We're going to have, next summer, we're going to maybe put some water stuff out there, like a trampoline and stuff. Um, we're, Dickie's still going to do the ice fishing. Uh, we're going to help him out a little bit this winter with ice fishing, and then uh, next summer we'll be doing launch services. And uh, we got a, we put on this outdoor patio here. Um, it isn't it isn't what we wanted to do, but with being this close to the lake, there's a lot of rules and regulations with the DNR and being uh, impervious surfaces to the water. So we had to go up just a rock patio, which will be fine. We're gonna put some nice picnic tables out here for some outdoor seating. Um, this place faces the west, so it's just got a beautiful sunset across the lake in the evening. That's great. Next summer, we're planning on putting a, this is a flat roof right where you see the Mille Lacs. Uh, Liberty Beach sign. We're going to put an outdoor bar up there, or a patio. Basically we're going to fence that in, we're going to put a stairway up the side here and we're going to have an outdoor seating upstairs there too. Uh, we actually went up there on our first night here, we took the place and we were here just in time for the sunset and it was awesome. So when the bugs ain't bad and the mayflies aren't bad, it's awesome out here. And so, you guys will be serving breakfasts in the morning, yep. there, in winter we're time? Gonna, yeah, oh absolutely. Yeah. Um, yeah, we're gonna start a breakfast. We haven't quite decided if we're gonna do a full week of breakfast or just do a like a Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Just we're gonna play by ear and see how it goes. But we're definitely gonna do a breakfast. Um, it might be a limited, but we might do the full week, see how it goes. Um, we've been told this place has been you have to have breakfast. It was it was a, a fun spot. Everyone says it's a good spot to eat. And, you know, it's been here a long time. And you guys will be Dickie will be pulling the plowing roads this winter for ice house. Just yep. pulling roads out, and next summer. You'll have the launch, Dickie's yep. launches out here. Yep. So if guys want to come fishing, yep. everything will be here. You got, yep. like I said, nice bar restaurant. They're, yep. they're really fixing it up very, very nice. They're putting a lot of time and effort in it. So if you're in the neighborhood or you want to find out, call them up at Liberty Beach and, and get the scoop and, you know, fishing. You don't got to go too far off, off, off the shore here to go catch bass and walleyes because I've been doing it for many, many years. And we will be going out on a launch trip here in the next uh, half hour with all the boys from Focus Outdoors. and. Sidecar Stan, my radio partner, and, and uh, 
Craig Dickmeyer and, and Tony's coming up, so we'll have a little little shoot of going out fishing for some smallies and some walleyes. And what's nice about Liberty, they got a public access right yep. next door yep. that yep. you can put access. you can put 50, 60 boats in it and still yeah. have plenty of room. You can park your boat, walk over we're and have, have something to eat. Yep. Sorry to interrupt you. We're gonna have at least ten docks out here next year, so you know we're gonna have big signs. We we want it to be uh, we want people to come into their boats, dock up, eat, do whatever. In the winter, I forgot to mention, we're going to have a uh, delivery service to Ice Shacks. Uh, we might limit it to mileage. We don't know yet, but we're going to just give us a call, send us your pin location. We're going to send a snowmobile or a truck out there. We'll deliver food right to you. And then in the summer, they want to give us a call. They don't even have to come in here. They can give us a call, and we'll meet them right on the dock, give them their food. We're going to have, like, grab-and-go lunches, sandwiches. Um, we're going to have, like, sub sandwiches, all kinds of different lunches. Early in the morning, we're going to open up for all these fishermen that come here if they want to just grab some sandwiches so they don't, if they forgot, we're going to have some awesome food, grab and go food, so they can go on the lake, you know, and not have to worry about it. Um, in the evening when they come back fishing, come on in. You know, we're going to have some kind of special running for everybody that comes and uses this public access. And, you know, we're going to offer a free drink or half off their first meal or something, but, you know, we're here for the fishermen. We want this lake to get up and going, and it's going to be awesome. So. The new owners have been super busy and it is looking great and what a great view of the lake they have. The guys were excited to get fishing with Chris Kudik of Kudik's Guide Service. Chris is the captain of Dickey's Launch Service and he has a ton of experience, over 40 years on the lake. We're going out in front of Liberty Beach to fish for smallies and maybe a walleye or two. Chris knows September is the time for big smallies, and he wasn't about to disappoint us. Stay tuned for the big fish coming up. I thought for the most part the weather was real good. It only really rained pretty hard the last, uh, first, the the and, uh, first day at the end of the day. Midwest Gun Dog Kennels is your full-time gun dog training facility. For over 30 years, we've customized our training to fit each individual gun dog. We know it takes a well-trained gun dog to handle wild birds to make every hunting trip a dream trip. Let Midwest Gun Dog Kennels put excitement back into your hunt of a lifetime. Midwest Gun Dog Kennels, where experience equals excellence. No matter the size, age, or activity level of your best friend, you want a dog food that's natural, feeds great, and is full of all the goodness you demand. That's what we pack into every bag of Country Vet Naturals. Country Vet Naturals are just what the name says, natural goodness in every bag. We also make grain-free cat and dog food and treats. Learn more and find a dealer at CountryVetNaturals.com. Country Vet Naturals, loved by pets, trusted by owners. Cool. As you might be able to tell, I spend a lot of time behind a shotgun. Whether it's at the clay target fields, sporting clays fields, doing exhibitions, or bird hunting, I always trust my shooting skills to the Rio Elite. Not only for the lighter recoil, but as you can tell, the harder hitting, consistent patterns. These clay targets don't stand a chance when you shoot Rio Elite. Make your next day on the water even better with Airwave Pedestal, the only air suspension system that can be custom adjusted to the weight of the rider. No unreliable springs, no oil-filled shocks to leak. Our patented design utilizes a two-stage suspension system to smooth out the roughest ride, a limiting travel to an industry-leading two inches. This boating season, enjoy your time on the water to the fullest. Find out how at airwavepedestal.com. Tony got the first one of the day. Turn around so you get on the camera, Tony. Tell us what you did, how you did it, and what you're going to do. And where it's gone. 
drop shot. Nice little Lake Mille Lac smallmouth on the drop shot today. Set the crosses Oh. Hey, Craig Dickmeyer here with Northland Tackle, and today we're out on Dickey's Launch Service with Guide Chris Kudak, Flex Construction, and doing some bobber fishing for some smallmouth. Focus Outdoors is, is with us as well, and today we're using some impulse products. This one here is a three inch leash that we're using. We can do the impulse paddle tails, but uh, as it goes right now, we're putting some fish in the boat, so get yourself some impulse tackle. It's gonna work for you. Rod tip fifth. Tony, slide in there and make that big dog for him. <laughs> yeah. Walleye on that rod. Walleye, there we go. Walleye, chop it up. Yeah, little walleye. Walleye, walleye, walleye. How'd you catch that? What were you using? Slip barbering on Mille Lacs. Little walleye. A leech about 8, 10 inches off the bottom. Here we're out in Mille Lacs and a bunch of us are out fishing walleyes and smallies and there's a new product out called Slimers and it's leeches, worms, they got a bunch of bass bait. Uh, you, can, you can look at their flyer here with all their, all their product on it and here's what the, they come in a little container like this. And that's what they look like. They look just like a leech. They got blue ones, they got brown ones, they got black ones. And they're, uh, they got action just like a leech, and that's what we're using out here, catching walleyes and bass. And I mean, you, you can go to their, their web page, look under Slimers, and uh, they got all their product, their colors, uh, everything they have, their frogs, their crayfish, anything for walleye fishing and bass fishing they have. They got scents, and it's all, all impregnated, and it's working because we're catching fish on it. But if you're looking for a, a new bait, artificial bait, this is what it's called. It's called the Slimers. They're out of New Jersey, and a lot of the guys on the Walleye Pro Circuit, the guides up here, are using this product now. So give them a look and give them a call and have them uh, send you some product and try it and see what you think. But they are working. Digging. Yeah, that's small, yeah. Oh, yeah, he's digging. Oh, yeah. Another one for the Peepee's brother. <laughs> Did you hook that leech the way I told you, Peepee's brother? I think I'm telling you? Yeah, I know how you hooked it. I, I know how you did it. Actually, I did. Nice, healthy little smallmouth. A lot of fun, a lot of fun. So we're out here on Mille Lacs on Dickie's launch. A few guys are using a bobber fish and I'm using a drop shot. It's about an 8 inch lead on the bottom, holds your worm up right up in the strike zone where the bass or the walleyes are going to come up and eat it at. Um, pretty effective in the rocks to stay in out of the rocks. Um, this drop shot weight will pull off if it gets stuck and your hook's still on there. Just put a new weight on and you're good to go. Now you catch him. See, you sit down, Stan. And I just got off. There he goes. Oh. Yeah, he just got off. That was a big smallie there. I was here for you. That was a big one. See that? It's always the big one that gets the And I just on there? Yeah, I just missed one, probably about five pounds. Got up right line inside the boat and got off because I didn't touch it. There's one behind you. Here you go. Broke Chris, seat. Give seat. Him a little bit more line. Really Look at that time. monster. Oh. I looked over my rod. Oh. There's another one that got off. A monster there. I think I broke your chair too. Getting That's up the hot too, hole you're getting up too fast. Behind. Work part was, is I was sitting right over the side of the boat. It's like fishing with pee-pee. Yeah. Pull straight up, it should unravel. You just round it a couple times is all. You gotta go around it. Above them or below them? Just let go of the, let go of your just line. Just let go of your line and pull. Just pull straight up. There you go. Now you just got your hook in there. Look, I had one and then he catches 
You want a net? On, Got this one on a drop shot with a uh, night crawler again. Out on Dickie's launch on Malax. Nice, beautiful, thick smallmouth. Kudak Guide Service. Yeah, yeah. Kudak Guide Service put us on some nice big fish here. Night crawler. What do you eating. think that weighs, Tony? Four and a half. Probably four and a half, close to five pounds. She's pretty thick in the front here, so but she's pretty close to five pounds. Nice. Yeah, Chris. Yeah, I'll need it down here. Another day, Smalley. Good luck got all the luck. Put in it. Holy man. Let's see it, Kudak. You're always so dramatic, I tell you. Just awesome, Kuda. Yeah. <laughs> Four pound test line. Oh, Foster, you missed it. That might be one of the worst. Come on, nights. Kuda, get him in. There's about a four or five pounder right there, or better. Oh, yeah. There's a dandy right there. Let's see it. Oh, that's a nice fish. There's a nice black flake smolly. Blue and white jigged. Slimer leech. On a bobber, right next to the boat. I didn't even have to cast. There. Probably about a six pound smallie. Chris, you got a tape handy? No. Yeah, there's one. There's, I see. Damn, that's a <coughs> Why, what do you want to tape for? Right there. Okay. Dakota Pheasant Guide offers the best wild pheasant hunts from the Glacial Lakes area of South Dakota west to the Missouri River. Packages available include everything from self-guided to fully guided hunts. Book your bird hunting adventure now. Fisherman, iTime Promotions is your ticket to an enjoyable and successful day on the water. Call Dennis Foster for your outdoor adventure of a lifetime. Dennis Foster here. I'd like to introduce you to the Dorado catch and release boat latch system. It's back the trailer into the water, pop the cord and away we go. Once our day in the water is done, we simply roll the boat up onto the bunks until it achieves contact with the bow eye. It clicks securely into place, away we go. We are exclusive partners with B2Outdoors.com. That's where you're going to want to go and order your very own system. You can enter the promo code ITIME PROMOTIONS and receive free shipping on your items.
comes to dog food and treats, you want something natural. A dog food or special reward that feeds great is made in the USA and helps your best friend live a long and healthy life. That's what you get with Country Vet Naturals, natural goodness in every bag. And for those of you who want grain-free, we've got that too. Find a dealer and learn more about Country Vet Naturals dog food, cat food, and treats at countryvetnaturals.com. Country Vet Naturals, loved by pets, trusted by owners. Twenty incher. Nice. Oh, over twenty inches. Right. About twenty-one and a half. Stan's got one behind us now. Oh, Tony got one up front too. This is a smaller one, I think. All right, this one can go back. We done with this one? Yep. Little baby guy. Little babies. Maybe? Yeah. It could be. There we go. You got him. We got a small mouth here on the drop shot. Yep. Just bouncing this. Slow off the bottom, not moving it at all, letting it sit in one area. Working it really slow. I think we got a good smallmouth here too. Oh, another dandy. Another nice molly. And they say there's no smallies in Malax Lake. Got about a six inch, inch drop off a uh, number two Nico hook. And they're just crushing them night crawlers. What kind of bottom are we fishing here? It's all rubble. Fishing rubble bottom in about 10, 12 feet of water. Um, they're coming up just eating. They they're all nice and fat. Healthy, healthy smallmouth. As we headed back to Liberty Beach, there's a lot of laughing and joking. Isn't that what fishing trips should be? I think they should be fun. New friends made, opinions shared, secrets kept, and secrets given away. That's what people should do when they're on a fishing trip. Enjoy themselves. Help each other and look around them and be awed by the great outdoors. We hope and wish the best for the new owners at Liberty Beach Bar and Restaurant. Mille Lacs Lake has had its turmoil of late, but what I can say from my personal experiences, it is one great fishery. Come and enjoy it. You won't be sorry you did. Liberty, that is what America is. And Liberty Beach is where you can share those ideas. Welcome to Action Dog. Action Dog is a sport that almost every single dog on the planet can do it. What Action Dog is, is you teach your dog to find your keys, your remote control, your phone, your wallet, your sunglasses, and your cell phones. What happens is you teach the dog to find the scent. Once the dog identifies that scent, you place that scent anywhere and you teach your dog to find it. The nice part about the action dog is your dog finds it, gives you an identification for it without destroying it. They don't have to retrieve it, they just let you know where it is. But with, with this dog, this is Meraki, a bulldog, showing that any dog can do this, is we're going to take the bulldog, we're going to first do a scent identification so the dog understands what the scent is, then we're going to take the scent, go into an actual living room setting and have the dog find the keys.
actually find the phone. This is how we start. Mark, find it. Find it. Find it. Find it. Where's it at? Okay. Now, once we know the dog can identify the scent, then we take that scent, it's placed on a pair of cell phones that are inside the training area. We're going to go into the training area and see if she can identify the exact same smell by going in. Okay, I'm all scared. Bye. Now, if you notice, I'm going to do a real alert just to show the group. Find it. Find it. That's how you do scent work. That's how you do a scent introduction. You let the dog know what the scent is. Once the dog has determined what the scent is, then you teach them to go through different scent cones, different scent and, and training patterns in order to know what they're looking for. Diesel train rolls down the line As I'm headed for the land of corn and rye There is a place I'm always satisfied Full of remedies to ease my worried mind Like pulling catfish on the banks of Cherry Cove Watching wood ducks glide